Jupiter returns to sensitive, compassionate, and intuitive Pisces on Friday, October 28th. And until December 20th, this is going to be our saving grace in the turbulent and more challenging eclipse season and Mars retrograde period. Let's take a closer look and see what this means for you. My name is Anastasia. I'm a traditional Western astrologer specializing in natal relationship and predictive readings. If you'd like to work with me, there are links down below. I am currently running an eclipse season special offering $30 off all of my readings. There's a coupon code down there. Before we dive in, I wanted to plug in my new passion project that takes perfect, nothing is perfect, but takes really good benevolent moments and bottles them up and creates magical items with the properties of those moments. I currently have um, two Venusian candles. There's Venus in Libra from early October with the moon waxing, good for manifestation, good for new romance and inspiration. And I have also created a Venus Kazemi candle, which was the magical moment of Venus coming together with the sun. It's green. Both of these have copper foil, the metal of Venus. And they're especially great for those with Venus in Aries, Virgo, Scorpio. If you're born with Venus retrograde or Venus in any of the dark houses, 6th, 8th, 12th. Or in general, if you struggle with romantic matters. And I also have a Mercury candle, which is good for people struggling with focus, writing, speech. It smells like grass. <laughs> Venus candles smell like rose for the rose one and apples for the Kazemi one. And Mercury candles are great for those with Mercury in Sagittarius, Pisces, if you're born with Mercury retrograde, natally, or Mercury in the dark houses, 6th, 8th, 12th. Thank you for listening um, to me plug my passion project um, you can find them on my website in the shop category and you know th these could be like really great for the challenging times especially the Venusian ones because currently Venus is in Scorpio and Venus struggles in Scorpio but these were created with Venus still in Libra I also have oils for them okay so let's talk about Jupiter going back into Pisces this is exciting Jupiter rules Pisces, so we get an empowered, wise Jupiter coming home and blessing us, right? Like, like I said, this could be a saving grace while the rest is tough. Whichever part of your chart is Pisces, as well as Sagittarius, you will see improvement there because Jupiter will be in Pisces and empowered Jupiter also blesses Sag house in your chart because Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So this happens on Friday at 1.10 a.m. Eastern. And to, I would recommend listening to the video I did on Jupiter and Pisces. There might be some similar things that I'm going to talk about um, right now. Also, I co colored my hair and I hope you guys, I hope you can see um, colored and cut it. It's definitely shorter now. Anyways, <laughs> Mars is in Gemini and it's hard to stay focused, but I'm I can do it. I'm a Virgo. So Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of optimism, faith, growth, abundance. Jupiter has this innate feeling that things will get better. Things will improve. You know, you're capable of change. You're capable of growth. You're capable of Im improvement. In Pisces, Jupiter is at home. And that means that Jupiter has a special relationship with the sign of Pisces. Pisces is compassionate and generous and giving and has an easy, Jupiter has an easier time expressing that optimism and that growth and hope in the sign of Pisces. Here we are dealing with a more receptive Jupiter, right? Like in Sagittarius, it's a lot more, it's a young sign. Um, so Jupiter and Sag is a lot more like, let's go there, let's achieve things, let's, you know, teach these people things. Versus in Pisces, there's a lot more, there's a lot more trust, I think. There's a lot more compassion and like, kind of like transforming things through analyzing them and like looking at things and believing in the universe um, versus like actively implementing change, Pisces tends to be more receptive to change that comes from 
the out. This is a return of Jupiter to Pisces, right? We've had Jupiter in Pisces from May 13th until July 28th, 2021. And then again, from December 29th until May 10th, 2022. So as you listen to the horoscopes for your sign, take a look and reflect on those times, right? Like see, see what's coming back, which themes are coming back, because it's sort of like a three act story. Maybe May into July, the themes were introduced. December into May this year, you've worked on them quite proactively, and now you need to put the finishing touches on those topics. So, like I said, you know, you can expect um, you can expect to feel more compassionate because this is highlighting Piscean and Jupiterian qualities, more hopeful. I think. When things are going tough with the eclipses, if they are, right? Like eclipses are not necessarily negative, but I think with Mars being retrograde, there's just more things up in the air. And when you have one strong positive planet, as we do with Jupiter, you feel hopeful that things will have the power to improve. You have the memory, you have the understanding that things will get better, no matter what's happening in your life. There's a lot more introspection, a lot more synthesis, a lot more deep spiritual work. Pisces, Jupiter in Pisces is very spiritual. Um, your imagination might get a boost, right? Like you might be going through a period of spiritual awakening or be more interested in spiritual topics. It's interesting, my Aries rising friend, um, when Jupiter was in Pisces, she suddenly got into like, chakra healing or some kind of like healing work and you know it's for Aries rising Jupiter Pisces is the 12th house it was in her 12th house and was like healing through the means of spirituality so feeling spiritually attuned right like feeling more we grow at this time through generosity we grow through helping other people we grow through being compassionate and charitable and giving so looking out for those less fortunate than you and giving back, helping through whichever ways you can, whichever means you can, can, is encouraged. And actually, you know, you can see benefits in life through that kind of work. So if you've been thinking about volunteering, if you've been thinking of donating part of your income, this can also be donating, volunteering can be like great for working with Saturn, right? But here we're talking about Jupiter. Um, just just to clear your karma, to feel better, to bring more goodness into the world, which I think is what Jupiter would want you to do. On the negative, of course, you know, there's always a possibility of like the negative with every placement. There's no placement in astrology that's just like absolutely great. <laughs> Wouldn't that be glorious? But maybe boring, right? If things were absolutely great all the time. But watch out for overdoing things and getting to watch out for self-sacrificing yourself right like if you do feel empowered and desire to help and give back give back to to others um there might be a tendency to just like get too zealous about the topic and follow maybe false ideals or just get too caught up in the idols and the things and the topics you're following so let's talk about what this means for you and i think i'm gonna go backwards this time around let's do pisces because jupiter is coming into pisces and might make sense to do the backwards dance so pisces rising jupiter is coming into your first house it also rules your 10th house right so you will see benefits here what was happening earlier this year from january until may professionally what was happening in your career from May into July 2021. So you can definitely, I think Jupiter in the first house is lovely. It blesses you with more hope, blesses you with more faith. It's encouraging of you to become more Jupiterian, to become a teacher, to become like a visible figure of some sort. It is empowering. Um, it's really good for your health, I think, if you've been struggling with any kind of health issues. Watch out for gaining weight because Jupiter in the first might just be like drink and rich food and, you know, sugar and like let's party. So um, be careful of that. But like any projects that are 
personal, that are yours. You may, if you have started something, especially around the beginning of this year, you can see them culminating, right? Like let's say you wanted to become a teacher and you've been like sending your applications and maybe this is the time when that application, you get a call back and you become a teacher. For aqua rising, um, Jupiter is going into your second house and it also rules your 11th house. So you can see blessings when it comes to financial matters, but more so Jupiter, whenever Jupiter travels, and like goes into the house of money it can for sure you know it can bring you benefits money through like group projects maybe networks maybe like professional gains like a pay raise but it can also be calling you to gather knowledge and gather value and and like find value in travel and expansion and education and experiences so Jupiter being in the second house can definitely boost your sense of self-worth and also maybe make you feel more valued, make you feel more appreciated. Like I said, take a look at those times that I mentioned when Jupiter was in Pisces before. Like there could be some clues there. You can also benefit, let me know if this resonates, but like you can benefit from maybe there were some group projects, maybe there was something in where you were connecting with like people on a certain level, right? Like maybe you were teaching your first yoga class, right? And that kind of process was on the way earlier in this year and Jupiter going back into Pisces, highlighting your house of values and money and your house of friendships, networks, hopes, and dreams can empower you to uh, take on a different role in the group or connect with a group that is more aligned with your values and your sense of self-worth. For Capricorn rising, Jupiter returns to the third house and it also rules your 12th house. Communicating about hidden things, 12th house, right? Kind of spiritual matters, self-defeating things you might you might kind of get more understanding, I think, with Jupiter here and communicate in a more compassionate way, in a more healing way, in a more thoughtful, caring, kind way. Being a source of support to people who are less fortunate because 12th house is very much people who are struggling, people who feel isolated. But I think, take a look at what was happening in your life. Um, from May to July 2021 and then from December, late December into May 2022 and see what kind of writing, communication, tech projects, projects in the neighborhood, projects with siblings were started because around this time you can see those projects find success, right? Um, taking a business, starting a business could be lovely right now, going back to school, going on a short trip, all for the sake, I think, of like giving back and connecting and, and expressing your compassion could be lovely right now. As well as, yeah, like working with the neighbors, feeling more happy with where you live and people around you, your relationships with your siblings can get better. Your neighbors, your neighborhood might be a great source of joy too. For Sag rising, Jupiter goes into the fourth house and of course it also rules your first house. So it's a great change for Sag risings. If you are ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter increases in dignity, you get like ding, 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 ding. <laughs> your overall sense of self-worth is likely to go up. Your energy is likely to go up. Of course, you know, there is still Mars retrograding in your seventh house of relationships. So it's not all fun and games, but Jupiter rules the house of home and family and it rules the house of identity. So whatever struggles you might be going through, you are, your home brings a lot of joy. Your home is your safety net, your place of security, your relationship with your family are likely to improve and feel more supportive and joyful. Um, maybe working from home because it's like first and fourth, Taking some kind of action in the family could be the time, could be like making you feel empowered. Maybe you are helping a family member um, or taking care of some kind of real estate matter. 
And on a spiritual level, you might find something that feels like home, right? There is, there might be a sense of finding a passion, finding a book, finding a project or a relationship that feels like home. And of course, some kind of new beginnings when it comes to starting a family or starting a home um, could be a possibility here. For Scorpio rising, Jupiter comes back to your fifth house. It's the place of romance, creativity, children. Jupiter in the fifth is your most fertile, your most inspired, your most abundant, right? Like Jupiter in Pisces, it's wet, it's moist. And if you plant the seed in the moist ground, it's more likely to bloom. So, you know, for Scorpio risings, there's been a lot of relationship changes, possibly a lot of personal growth and self-development. And I think you will also experience some kind of blossoming of your romantic life, of your inspiration, like I said, creativity. Relationships with children can improve as well if you have them. Or if you're trying, if you're trying to get pregnant, this is the best time. If you're trying to not get pregnant, use extra protection <laughs> because like I said, very fertile. Finding a lot of joy too, I think, in like being with children or empowering children, teaching children, giving back to maybe even like volunteering for some kind of child children charity could be lovely right now. This is also so interesting because Jupiter goes into Pisces right before Saturn will go into Pisces. So it's, it's significant. It's like the time when things are going really great and you are encouraged to remember your ideals and what serves you and what makes you happy before things go, <laughs> before Saturn comes in and is basically like, have you been doing the good, good work? And let me know if you're a Scorpio rising and if there has been any major fertility, children, romance developments in your life, especially when Jupiter was in Pisces before, which is May into July last year and January into May this year. For Libra rising, Jupiter blesses your house of health and Jupiter also rules your house of neighbors, siblings, and communication. Speaking of communication <laughs> and moist Jupiter, I gotta moisturize the communication canal. So Libra rising, great for health, great for work. Take a look at what's ha what was happening in your work life and your health with your health from May into July 2021. It's funny, I like that was right around the time I got over a really like frustrating health matter. And then take a look again at what was happening in your life from, from January until May this year. Were there any positive developments with your health? Have you made any investments into your health and your future? What was happening with your work life, right? Like sometimes um, Jupiter might bring more work, but it feels you, it makes you feel better about it. It's like you feel, you feel like you're doing good work. You feel like you're helping other people. With Jupiter in the six, you find a lot of joy in serving others, in taking care of others, being there for them physically. Topics of animals and pets might be important. Maybe, you know, choosing to volunteer at a pet shelter, adopting a pet is a possibility here. It also rules your third house. So I feel like using your hands, using your skills, using your knowledge and creating things could be very beneficial. And like, you know, here I am <laughs> promoting, promoting oh, Anastasia's candles. Um, anyways, like work, work and health matters should be really good. So take advantage of this period. Don't overdo it, but use it to prep for the Saturn's ingress next year. Saturn in the six might test your health and test your schedule. Are you overworking? Do you have a good work-life balance? You know, if you're a Libra rising, do you ever have balance? You're always seeking balance, but you can, you can like kind of like plant seeds and build better balance right now. For Virgo rising, this is great for relationships. Pisces is your seventh house. So Jupiter is entering your seventh house 
and it also rules your fourth. So what was happening in your relationships and partnerships from May to July 2021 and from January into May 2022? There might be people from the past coming back into your life or if there's any unfinished relationship questions, right? Like you've dated someone, you've separated because they went to a different country or a different state and now you have to come together and figure out whether you'll be together or not. Jupiter in Pisces is likely to give you a very compassionate nature, right? Like if, if you're not already very compassionate, but it can make you even more um, generous and compassionate and giving and forgiving in your relationships. So definitely can smooth over any issues in both romantic relationships or business partnerships. Or maybe it's also if you've been thinking about starting a partnership or a relationship. And maybe you've made some move towards it in the beginning of the year. This could be the final accord where you go public with it. For Leo rising, Jupiter goes into the eighth house and it also rules your fifth house. So Leo risings, this is the house of other people's money, other people's resources, other people's favors. And Jupiter being here is likely to be very beneficial when it comes to blessing you with the support of other people. So take a look at what was happening in your life from May to July 2021 and then again from January into May 2022 because if there were any loans you have been thinking of applying or applied for, any partnerships, any spiritual matters, transformations of like both on a material level and a spiritual level that got started, this final chapter of Jupiter and Pisces could bring completion to those things, right? Like if this is, if that was the time when you started therapy, maybe this is the time now when you feel like you've understood something or you've made a break in therapy. If you have um, applied for a mortgage or you have started looking for an apartment to buy or to invest into, this might be the time when you find it more intimacy more connection in a relationship are possible too and because jupiter also rules your house of children i wonder if there is any kind of developments connected to children or just your own sense of childlike wonder and self-worth and happiness let me know if this resonates if you have dealt with any financial or spiritual transformations when jupiter was in pisces before for Cancer rising, Jupiter goes into your ninth house and it also rules your sixth house. Jupiter in the ninth is quite happy because ninth is the place of expansion. It's the place of travel, education. So you might be going on a trip. You might be taking a class. You might be kind of taking on some kind of important educational matter. Right, I would once again take a look at the periods I mentioned in the beginning of this video when Jupiter was in Pisces to see what this final period might be about. Like, let's say you started teaching classes, right? Jupiter comes back to Pisces and it might be the time when you come up with a whole curi curriculum or you announce a new class. Um, maybe you've been thinking about taking going back to school and you actually go back to school feeling more compassionate for yourself and more kind to yourself as well as to others jupiter in the ninth is very much like a teacher a sage a wise guru right so feeling more compassionate feeling more generous being more available for other people will also likely figure but like, as you know, as we're going through this eclipse season and Mars is retrograde in your 12th house of self-defeating thoughts and negative habits, Jupiter in the ninth can make you connect with some spiritual tradition, right? Like maybe you learn about Buddhism, maybe you start reading some kind of spiritual book bible <laughs> like for a second i was like what's that spiritual book that you know most people know um but yeah like finding finding support if you're struggling a little bit with the eclipse season or mars retrograde find support in the teachings 
and the teachers and people who can help you. For Gemini rising, this is lovely. Jupiter enters your house of career and it also rules the house of partnerships. So you can experience professional developments. You can experience the return of themes from May into July 2021 and January into May this year. Some, some kind of professional culmination, taking your plans and your projects and presenting them to other people, asking for more responsibility, connecting with people at work on a new level, right? Like Jupiter wants to glue. It's kind of like Venus in a way, but Jupiter, Jupiter still brings things together. Venus does as well, so they have that in common. But yeah, having good relationships professionally, showing up in the Jupiterian fashion, like when you are a teacher or you're teaching people something or you're sharing your knowledge with others. I can also see this good potentially for romantic relationships because Jupiter rules your house of romance, maybe even meeting someone through work. But Jupiter is not the most romantic planet, right? Venus is a lot more romantic and arguably Venus might be the most romantic planet. Um, she definitely cares about romance versus Mars, might just care about doing it. Anyways, I digress. <laughs> but it's not the most romantic planet, which means that here it might be more about like joining forces with other people for the sake of making a difference and bringing change. So take a look at that and think of how you can start new healthy partnerships in order to become who you want to be and who you see yourself as. And like I said, you know, work could be going extra smooth, which is a good thing to have in the more turbulent times. For Taurus rising, Jupiter returns to your 11th house, and this is the house of networks, friendships, sense of belonging, sense of support, hopes and dreams. And it also rules your eighth house. So take a look at what was happening in your friendships, in your social media game, in your relationships with community in the beginning of this year, right? Until May. And then also May into July last year. Because there might be, maybe there was some project that you were considering starting with a friend and this is the time you started, or this is the time you see the fruits of your labors, right? Same goes for social media, same goes for any group volunteer, charitable type of work. Um, you can potentially experience gains through a partner or starting a partnership, starting some kind of joint venture with a partner, your romantic partner, or maybe just a friend. Definitely feels like Jupiter is saying that if you're struggling with anything in life right now, friendships are where it's at. Connecting with people on a spiritual level, helping people will bring some goodness into your life. For Aries rising, Jupiter comes back to your 12th house. Take a look at what was happening in your life from Ju May into July 2021 and then again from late December into May 2022, because Jupiter coming into your 12th house and ruling your 9th house will bring, will, will make spirituality and therapy and taking care of your mental health kind of your happy thing. So this might be the time when you choose to look within, when you choose to work with a therapist, when you choose to read some kind of spiritual book and educate yourself on something beyond you. Um, a lot of joy, I think, would come to you from volunteering and helping others because that is what that is what 12th house is about. It's people who are isolated. So Jupiter coming here might make you feel less isolated or it can help you connect with people who feel isolated. And by giving some of your energy to them, and this could be anyone, right? Like this could be your brother who's struggling with alcoholism or your community or literally volunteering at a homeless shelter, for example. Um, I feel like I feel like this is about finding wisdom in the dark places, right? Twelfth house can be dark. And if you are dealing with any emotional or personal difficulties, 
you can perhaps use spirituality, therapy, yoga, meditation, journaling, astrology as tools to help you. So this is all I have. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope this Jupiter transit through Pisces is, is going to make you happy and it will help you see the light in November <laughs> and December when things might feel less, less bright and less cheery. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.